Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to program new remotes to your Chevrolet. I think this will work for about 2007 to 2010 year models. This is a 2009 Suburban. Um, this is my original moat. These are the two I just picked up from this place. Not a paid advertisement. I just bought them off of eBay. Cost me like 12 bucks for both of these remotes and they already have batteries in them. Uh, I think when I bought them it showed the batteries in the ad, but uh, the batteries are already installed into the remotes. I just had this handy because I was doing my tire pressure sensors today, but I was going to open them up see if the batteries were in them because they weren't in the package, so I just decided to use this instead of popping them open. You can see all the buttons are working. Obviously, you're not going to have this, and this isn't required. I'm just going to get the other one. See, it works. So they both have batteries in them. They both work. So now we can learn them to the vehicle. And when you do this, you're going to have to remember that it's going to clear all remotes already learned to the vehicle, which is why... I have the old one here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off the keychain to make this. Okay, now that I got them all off of the keychain, I'm gonna go ahead and put the key in. Then we're gonna use uh, this info button right here, the one with the car and the eye, car info. You're gonna scroll through, remote key learn, Press your check mark. Now you're in remote key learning mode. So now you're going to take the remotes you want to learn, and you're going to do them one after another, and you're not going to stop until you have all the remotes learned that you want. I believe you can hold up to eight remotes in a vehicle. So you're going to hold down the lock, unlock at the same time until you hear it beep. Hear that beep? I did this one. Now we're going to do this one. Beep. Right, we got two done. Now we're going to do number three. Wait for the double beep. There you go. Now all three have been learned. Now you, to finish, turn your key off. And that should be it, and there should be learned. So now this, both of these should work. So we got lock, works, unlock, the hatch and the glass. And that works. Grab the other one, close the hatch. Now it works. Now if I lock, see if we can do the remote start. Just like that. Remote start works, lock unlock works, hatch, hatch glass, all these, we know all these buttons work, so. And that's as simple as that. I had asked a key guy, because I was going to get an extra key before um, my uh, father-in-law found this one. Uh, so I, now I have two keys, I don't need a key made, but I asked him about making one key and doing two remotes, because I knew that these remotes were cheap. And he wanted $55 for the trip to me. He wanted like $45 or $55 to do one key. And he wanted $96 to do the first remote. And like 60 something bucks to do the second remote. So like all together it was going to be close to like $250 or whatever. And that is as simple as the learning procedure is. See, remote start works, everything works. 
I'm good. It cost me $12 for these remotes from Remotes Remotes on eBay. Like 12 bucks. Batteries in them and everything. And this is as simple as the learning procedure is. You know, special tools, no nothing. It does it straight through the vehicle's own system. So, if you have to do this, follow this procedure, save yourself some money. This is where I got mine. You, they're all over the place. They're very cheap. You can do it too. Amazon, eBay has them all. I hope this helps you out. Saves you a couple dollars. Enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.